So hi everyone, the team behind Cog Video X, if you remember the first open source text to video generation AI model has now come up with a new model for text to image generation that too in just 3 billion parameters. So this is amazing. The model size is quite small and the initial results are looking quite decent. If you look here, it is a diffusion transformer version of Cog U3, a text to image generation model supporting image generation from 512 to 2048 pixels so this is amazing the final the resolution that they're providing is fantastic apart from that inference speed also looks good and precision for now as you can see d float 16 and float 32 is supported for now so this is also fine here you can see that memory consumption also looks fine to me if your cpu up offload is off and cpu offload is on 11 gbs and they, here they have given the steps to how to use the model in python so you need to pip install the latest version of diffuser i think soon the pr should get merged so you just need to pip install diffuser and then use this particular code looks very very straightforward so if you don't want to run the code and just test out the model the model is now available on hugging face spaces as well so let's see how it performs So here you can see the free inference of the COG View 3 model, which you can access for free. Let me provide a prompt here. Kids playing football in Milky Way. So it's an imaginary uh, image that I wish to generate. They're providing an option to enhance the prompt as well. So I've given it a basic prompt. Let it enhance the prompt for me. Now, the prompt has been enhanced. Let me run this and let's see what it outputs. There are some advanced settings as well present. Here you can see width and height. You can adjust number of inference steps, guiding scale. Now, here you can see the image generated looks quite good. I think I won't. It's bad. Some deformities I can see. The kids are looking a little malnutrition, but still a decent image to try out. Uh, now let me try out something else dinosaurs doing car race let's see what it outputs for this crazy prompt it has now improved the prompt for me and now we are running it again now here is the image that it is generated for Dinosaur doing car is not that great, but still fine. I will still take it. Let's try out something else. Robots on a war with humans. And here you can see the image generated looks amazing. This is of high quality that you can see uh, the model looks amazing to me i think all the three images generated except the dinosaurs doing a car race which is quite crazy also which is not a usual prompt i think both the pro both the prompts give us decent results here are some examples also that the team has provided that you can play around with you can run the same example and check out what it outputs for them so this is the image generated for this given from a vibrant red colored dog of medium build stands attentively in an autumn forest settings and all that stuff. So I think that in all the model looks good. I think it's worth trying out and given the size, that's the major part because if you talk about flux, the results are great, but the model size is huge. I think their smallest model that is Snell is about 23 to 24 GBs. Here the model size is about 10 to 11 GB. So I think the size is drastically drop down and it is open source also so free to use the model is available on hugging face so you can just go and download it worth trying out i would highly recommend you try it out and let us know how you feel about the model thank you so much